since the beginning of Project Africa in 1980, the selections of John Bosco have contributed tremendously towards the education of young people here in Africa, including Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, and Namibia. Now, these countries make up the vice province of Mary Help of Christians. And in Africa, we have more than 100 schools run by the Salations. Now, for proper work and effective coordination, the DB Tech was created. And I bet you're wondering what the DB Tech is about. Well, don't go far, stay tuned. Today, I have a special guest who's going to explain to us what the DB Tech is all about. So, stay tuned. Welcome everyone to Don Bosco Youth Network Zambia. I'm your host, Alice Piri. And then joining me today, we have a very special guest, Father TJ George, who is from the east side of Africa, specifically Kenya. Now, Father George is the director of the DB Tech Africa. And so, dearest Father, welcome to our program. Thank you very much, Alice. Now, before we go, deep into the program. Can you please give us a brief history of who you are? I am Father George, yes. DJ, originally belonging to the AFE province, uh, that is Kenya, Tanzania, Sudan, and uh, South Sudan. I came as a missionary to East Africa in the year 1986, <laughs> quite some time ago. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, after my ordination, I was in Tanzania for nine years in a training center, Don Bosco Youth Training Center, Iringa. After my nine years there, I served as the provincial economist of East Africa province for another nine years. Another nine years. <laughs> and then, uh, once I finished that, I was appointed as director of uh, Don Bosco Tech Africa, which was just beginning. Uh, Don Bosco Tech Africa is the dream and initiative of the provincials of uh, Africa, Madagascar region. And uh, we came up with the slogan of awakening the giant. Now, what is the giant? Giant is supposed to be the great number of technical training centers that we run in the continent. And so, later on uh, in the year 2013, a big survey was done covering about 70 training centers in the continent. And as a result of this survey, DBTEC was born in the year 2014. I took charge in 2015, you know, we have like 102 training centers in 35 countries with different language groups, different traditions. When I say traditions, uh, this is because lots of uh, Tibet traditions came from the country of origin of the missionaries. You see, of course, every country has got its own Tibet structure within Africa, yes. but still certain traditions came also from the country of origin of the missionaries. Okay. Another important thing is the development of, let's say, colleges offering craft level from the solutions of Don Bosco. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see that in uh, Chingola and uh, Lufu, mm -hmm. yeah, there is the craft level being offered, which is good. And uh, my hope is that we are not going to stop there. We are going to go up to diploma and uh, degree levels as well, because there is so much of demand, both for the industry as well as for the education sector, with the technical secondary schools in many parts of the country. So there will be a demand for that. There are areas where we need to improve and areas where we need to make our training in line with the labor market demands. And one of the jobs of uh, and responsibilities of Don Bosco Tech Africa is to support 
modernization to bring our training centers to the current okay, yeah wow. current technological world yeah let's say that way yeah i understand that you do you really depend on donors to help you or you sponsor yourself at present uh, we depend on donors we depend very much on uh, donors and how frequently do you have these donations coming in it depends on let's say our need so we uh, look for donors according to the needs that we see of course needs are endless yeah. uh, what advice would you give to the young people there like me uh, who comes to the team Tech, um, you know, uh, for DB Tech Africa, our slogan is uh, decent employment and quality of life, and that's what, and that's where I want to see the young people move to. It's not enough that I have just something on the table. That's not enough. Yeah, I need to reach. a certain quality of life move higher and higher and higher so there you have it guys from father george who has been very pleasant thank you for your time if you are interested or if you like this show please don't forget to like subscribe and share for more content we love you stay safe and to our father thank you for your time once again And from the whole production crew, it's a bye-bye. Take care.